This morning in your health headlines, we're tracking some new research showing a possible link between a healthy mouth and your risks around coronavirus. Scientists are finding that people with bad oral hygiene could be more at risk for severe COVID-19 symptoms and ultimately patient outcomes. So what does this all mean for you as we all try to stay healthy during this pandemic? Well, for the answers on this latest science, we're going to bring in dental surgeon Dr. Shervin Mulayam. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So tell us about this latest research. So basically, in my everyday practice, what I'm seeing is people really don't know why people are dying from COVID. So that's the key. Uh, we found that it's all about the inflammation. And that's what makes people go down the, uh, the spiral, the downward spiral, as they say. So what causes it is this inflammation, in particular, uh, in the mouth, we, when we get plaque or bacteria, it enters underneath the gum where we have a lot of blood supply, a lot of blood vessels that circulate through the body from there. And it releases this inflammatory protein called IL-6 or interleukin-6. Now this is the key word, you have to remember this. This is what actually ends up uh, being a predictor for people dying from COVID. Hmm. Uh, there's a, 20, a study from Germany that shows there's a 22 times higher chance of people dying when IL-6 goes above 80. It's 80 picograms per milliliter. And when it's below 80, people live. So if there is one thing you want to pinpoint death to, it so far has been IL-6. IL-6 is also from the gum. So that's the connection. And also IL-6 has been linked to other, just going straight to the lungs and uh, decreasing gas exchange flow uh, and uh, the lining of the respiratory tract. So uh, people have really got to be on top of keeping their mouths clean right now. Yeah, yeah. well, it's kind of terrifying. I'm one of the people that every time I go to the dentist, they say, you need to do a better job flossing and my gums are all, you know, bleeding yeah. when they get in there. So that, it, that could be kind of terrifying, I think, for a lot of people, right? Yeah, and to, to that point, right now, people have been at home. They you know, there's been lockdowns uh, for the past few months in some places that you, the offices have been closed. Hygienists have been more scarce because they're a little bit more scared to come back to the office. And so people have dirtier mouths now than ever from what we've been seeing and have been seeing and hearing. So it's definitely a problem. Yeah. So what does this mean for, uh, you know, possibly the ways in which we are treating COVID-19 patients. I mean, we talk about people in the hospital being on respirators and, and a lot of treatment comes through the mouth. So I would imagine all of this kind of ties together. Yes. So actually people who go on the respirator, those people, only 20% of them are living right now. So that's what we want to prevent is that. And the way to prevent it is not letting the IL-6 get high. And the way to not do that is keeping inflammation down. How to keep inflammation down is a couple things. So you want to have, uh, you can control this with some drugs, for example. There's an arthritis medication that is a IL-6 antagonist. Uh, steroids, for example, decrease inflammation. We have uh, inhale. You can inhale uh, with a nebulizer um, steroids. And that's a, actually the research on that is coming out really well because you're directly getting the, the virus where it starts, which is in the nose and in the throat, that's where the receptors, the ACE receptors that the, this virus attaches to comes through here and then goes straight down. So if you, get, if you inhale steroids, you're decreasing inflammation right at the, at the source. It's like a firefighter going straight where the source of the fire starts and not letting it even get anywhere else. Mm, yeah, interesting analogy yeah. there. Yeah, so this is, I'm sure, something that uh, the people in your field are definitely focusing on right now. And, and just overall, there are risks uh, when it comes to bad oral hygiene. Um, so, you know, just people, it sounds like, really do need to be taking care of their mouths. Yeah, uh, I, I highly recommend people go to see their dentist, get their gums checked, get an x-ray. Uh, this is a time when you want to get, get a nice deep cleaning. Um, you might need to get numbed a little bit to, so they can go extra deep. Um, even perhaps see a periodontist because only 6% of gum problems cause pain. So this is a silent disease. There's not much nerve endings in the gum and in the bone. So this can go for years without people even noticing or knowing about it. 
Now, doctor, of course, we're, we're seeing some dental clinics reopening. Some are choosing not to if they don't feel safe. So if, if getting to the dentist isn't an option for some people right now, what are some of the things we can be doing at home, just the best like everyday ways to try and take care of our mouth? Great question. So uh, the key is you want to basically brush twice a day. You want to floss twice a day, preferably between meals. I know sometimes it's hard because we're not at home for, you know, for lunch, maybe more now than before. Um, and uh, there's a study that shows that as far as a rinse, uh, betadine or iodine, that little orange thing that you rub on when you get a cut, if you put a little bit, you know, a couple teaspoons in a cup of water and rinse for 20 seconds, it kills the virus. So it's not a bad idea to rinse with that because it kills bacteria in your mouth. But the virus, the COVID virus, and also gargle with it. And I recommend to do that at least once a day, uh, especially right now. All right, some good tips there. Well, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, if people do want to learn more about the new research, we'll have a link on coin.com.